Oh, hello guys. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to get past the error that is occurring in check array in USB, and that is the uh, host level exception. Uh, to fix this problem, first of all, you have to download the files that has been given in the uh, Google Drive link in the description, and you'll find this host level fix. Now uh, it has uh, two files in it, three files, sorry, and there's a boot clover and this config. And this config is already inside the clover, but you have to replace this old config.plist and get the new one and copy as this one. So first of all, what you have to do is, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you have already used the button nature and uh, you have uh, successfully flashed your uh, USB. Now after flashing, what you have to do is um, just ignore all these errors. Uh, they will come. And nothing to worry about ignore these errors then open your file manager and uh, go to rain usb uh, inside here you'll find uh, you have to go into this efi folder in this efi folder you will find these two folders boot and clover all you have to do is extract this host level fix and just copy this too and before copying uh, you have to delete this too then copy paste this boot and clover the new one fix and paste it over here after doing that, what you have to do is go into Clover. Inside Clover, just delete this config playlist. Delete this one and then copy paste this one. After that, you just have to restart and change a couple of settings. These settings are specific for the Intel CPU. I've got an Intel i5 8 gen. So it worked for me. I hope it works for you guys also. So you have to change some settings in the uh, Clover. So now just restart our PC. Uh, so now, as you can see, I have uh, connected my SanDisk pen drive over here, and I've connected my iPhone SE also. So now I'll just boot up the device. Now just go to the boot menu. Now press F9 for this for HP. Now just select the UEFI SanDisk. Uh, as you can see that there's a new uh, UI for this Clover menu, and uh, most you'll see this Windows and the uh, Mac OS. Now some people are saying that they are getting only Windows. So after the fix, after you apply the fix, you will see this uh, Mac OS also. Now the main setting that you have to change is under the options. In the options tab, uh, you have to go into the first of all. You have to check the PCIe. In the PCIe, just check this one. This inject clock ID. It has to be checked. Okay. In some cases, it's unchecked. Just to check the clock ID. All right. So after checking the clock ID, just return. And this is the most important part. Uh, this is for the Intel CPUs. I find out that this and uh, this uh, C six is enabled, but uh, you have to enable the C four and the C two as well. After doing that, just return. Then go to the graphics injector. Since I have two uh, graphics cards, C one is uh, Intel, and this is the Intel UHD six twenty eight, and I have got the Radeon one. So you have to inject the uh, the performance card the card that is your performance card main performance card that you use for playing games and doing um, other works like video editing or anything so just inject the ATI that's all and hit the return and boot into the macOS now it should boot at the Apple logo directly because I haven't enabled the verbose mode and now it takes it takes some time and depending upon the CPU performance like I've got an uh, i5 8 generation so I, I won't skip the video just uh, wait for the I will just actually show you how much time it takes for it to boot up and if you find a respring logo over here then uh, most probably it's not going to start there's a different fix for that one alright so if you get this respring logo then just quit then apply the next fix then it should most probably help now just wait for the Apple logo to finish loading. It takes some time depending upon the performance of your CPU. If you do get stuck in this uh, process, in the loading process, just let me know in my telegram. I will surely help you guys. And this one is specifically for the Intel CPUs.
give it a minute or two it should load up So you can see I've got the cursor now. So in some cases uh, people are complaining that they are unable to move their cursor and they have no input for the keyboards. To them I would suggest that you uh, input an external keyboard and mouse before you go into the BIOS. Before booting up your system just uh, plug in the mouse and keyboard. Then we'll hit the next in the English language. After that uh, just hit the continue nothing else. Just hit the continue one time and don't hit this continue okay. Just go to the utilities. Under utilities, you'll find the terminal. Just open the terminal. And you have to type there RAIN USB. R A 1 N U S B. That's all. It will pop up the RAIN USB interface. Alright, so now I've got the interface. Just hit on the verbose option. Check the verbose and start it. Uh, this is the phone. This is the iPhone SE. Uh, it has a iOS 13.3 so just hit next you can see that it goes into recovery mode I'm going to recovery mode yep now just follow the on-screen instructions that are given for iPhone SE you just have to press the lock button and the power button then release the lock, bu lock button and keep on holding the uh, home button so I just start this process and do it this way release the lock button press the open button and it should jailbreak yep. as you can see the jailbreak is running And it has successfully jailbroken the device. Now I'll just open the password and show you. There's check ring. Connect it to the Wi Fi. Yep, alright. See, CDI is installed now. You can go to CDI. You can open the CDI app. it has successfully installed so here you can see it says iOS 13.3 CDR so you have successfully jailbroken your device now you can enjoy your tweaks um, but uh, I have to return back to Windows now just go to this Apple logo and hit on the restart button and as soon as it goes into restart mode just remove the USB that's all you have to do it will boot into your windows it should put into your windows that's all you have to do so guys thank you for watching and uh, forward this uh, share this with your friends this uh, fix and hopefully it will help you jailbreak your phone and your friends phone too thanks for watching and share it as much as you can with your friends thank you